Day 202 of the war in Gaza, the IDF has deployed two reserve brigades into Gaza in preparation for an offensive operation in Rafah. The army says the planned operation is ready and awaits government approval. Some 40,000 tents have been erected in evacuation sites to absorb civilians fleeing areas before they are attacked. The IDF brigades in Gaza will secure the corridor held by the army along the central Gaza North-South Highway. They will also secure the U.S. aid pier erected on the northern Gaza coast. Israel has said that victory in Gaza is impossible without taking Rafah, crushing remaining Hamas forces and recovering any hostages held there. Hamas has six remaining battalions in the Gaza Strip, including four in Rafah. Two Hamas battalions remain in central Gaza in the Nusirat and Deir el-Balakh camps. In the north, IDF fighter jets and artillery hit 40 Hezbollah targets in a wave of strikes across Lebanon. Scores of Hezbollah targets were hit within several minutes. The tactic, described as a fire belt, was deployed for the first time since the cross-border violence began in early October. Lebanese media outlets claim that the IDF hit 17 Hezbollah targets during the wave of attacks. Defense Minister Gallant visited the IDF Northern Command and said that half of the commanders of Hezbollah's forces have been killed since the start of the war, and the rest were in hiding. Gallant said that the government's top priority is to bring the residents of the North, who were evacuated at the start of the war, home safely. Signing the massive military foreign aid bill, U.S. President Joe Biden restated his ironclad commitment to Israel and its ability to defend itself. Biden said that security of Israel is critical and the $17 billion in military assistance would allow Israel to defend itself against Iran and the terrorists it supports. Biden gave assurances that the U.S. can replenish Israel's air defense and provide other critical needs against Iranian attack. The president also said that the people of Gaza were suffering the consequences of the war that Hamas had started and that the U.S. was working intently to get as much aid to Gaza as possible. The bill includes billions of dollars in additional humanitarian aid for the people of Gaza. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.